Oh no. <laughs> They're just so dumb. Oh, see. All okay, right. well, okay, we're going to start this episode again. You want to start okay. again? Ah! Well, yeah, okay. I've made a big hoodoo for the one, for the well, first okay. time on this channel. Um, yeah. uh, accidentally, I accidentally didn't start recording until just now. So, so we've just been having a wholesome conversation. Really? And I've been. Really? Yeah. Yes. I'll introduce everyone again. So, welcome back. I've got Gazal here, but I've got also got my first ever guest, celebrity guest. Jude. I'm on it. Yeah. Oh. Jude. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Why is he just pointing at I'm me? I'm not pointing at you. <laughs> what, do you want me to say, hey, Jude? Like, yes, again. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm not doing, again. You just made me do that by force again. You're making. It, it, it's only good when it's natural. Jude Florenzu. That's he say. Florenzu. Wow. Wow. It's what? going worse. It? Oh, oh, it's is going it? worse. Oh, what was it? Oh, it's really no, simple. Just follow the, the wrong syllable, like of O. Oh, Maybe you have to spell it for him. No, no, the spelling's too. It sounds Italian. Complicated. To me. It sounds like yeah. He's a, he's a good, good friend of the sixth form, and you guys been asking for it. So yeah. I'll be I'll be answering some. They've been asking questions from last episode. Yeah, to so. quote Sid, he was yeah. like, "Oh, he's the heart and soul," and he almost <laughs> yes, it, it almost sounded like he's idolizing him. And it's quite funny to see. Yes, and it's good we've both watched that Target King Kong documentary. I have a lot of questions to ask, school-related, oh. by the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ask, me, ask me that question again about... No, ask Jude and me about that lockdown stuff. Oh, like... Jude, remind us all what you've been doing in lockdown. So you said you've been doing nothing, but you haven't been doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, so basically, in, in, one, in one sentence, one word, nothing. Uh, nothing really uh, that's going to change the world or is really like, you know, preparing for uni, none of that stuff. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. Really, so... I guess, I mean, it's not even your what fault. Have you been, what have you been doing to pass the time, though? You know what I mean? Um, like, apart from watching Cat um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like watching a few films, doing a bit of cooking, like just chilling, uh-huh. really. So, you know. What have you been making? No, no like nothing, like, you know, it's off, like, roast potatoes. I can roast potatoes now. So, you Warm know. Yeah. Beans on toast, mate. Sid, all he could do is, like, boil a sausage. That's about it. Yeah. And. <laughs> Do a cereal. And maybe fry it. Toast. Empty. <laughs> just the basics. Toast. toast isn't cooking, though. You just put it in a, in a still machine. It still counts as cooking, doesn't it? No, so. it doesn't. You're heating up bread. <laughs> Very low-level cooking. Very low-level cooking. Well, Very you, low-level. You get prepped up for uni, <laughs> that, yeah, that... yeah, exactly. I mean, you kind of do. I mean, as a, if you want me to talk about something... You go for it. Uni, go I was for just, it. Are you looking forward to that? Are you dreading it? What are your feelings about going to uni? I don't know, like excited, I guess, but at the same yeah. time, it might not even be in September. Might be, well, we don't know. Corona is literally like Corona yeah. back is corona messed back. everything up. So it might just be that, you know. like, if if this if the case is dire, because I'm hoping that by September, you know, things will be opened yeah. again. But it will be probably a case where large gatherings won't be allowed. Like, I yeah. feel like everyone will be able to go outside again, but massive gatherings like concerts, events think, and stuff, which probably includes uni-related things, what, won't happen. What they yeah. should do is, like, trickle it down, like, football, for, they should make it slow change back into reality. So it's not, like, all back at once, all at once, you know what I mean? No, but it's the problem with corona is that it, it spreads so fast. So if you've got people in big crowds, even if one person That's what with I'm saying. corona like, potentially it, Like, for there, football, it's, for it's example, gonna, football, for example... It. Like you go back to behind closed doors, then you eventually like transition back into. Old can't you stadiums. watch like old games though? Like, yeah, you, you how you thinking? Every... Are you missing football or not really? I'm re- you, watching old games doesn't have the same power as watching new games. Yeah. You know, like yeah. football. I'm missing football. It's really, it's a really depressing time without football. So I mean, I want watch... his meme and his meme material goes from football, doesn't it, dude? So literally, the, yeah, that's all well. <laughs> To be fair, we're not in school, so you'd have to show off for that. Not... <laughs> Two for me and wait, was it? <laughs> for me and two person. It's funny, but I told my mum about the Josie Mourinho memes, and she just does it herself. It's so funny. <laughs> it's oh, my God. But who's that one? Oh, uh, she. Oh, she always says, "Um, big trouble, big trouble." <laughs> to I'm, me, I'm... who's the one who goes sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit? It's just, I don't even know who that was. <laughs> Football was manager. that AC Milan manager? Gattuso, yeah, yeah, oh, Gattuso, yeah, that's the one. Gattuso, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the one. Is he still managing? I don't know. Who cares? As long as Ollie's still managing, Man United is fine. That's the one. Oh, who do you support? He's supposed to say a couple you... of Well, actually. Same as I me. Su- well, oh, okay, I'll oh, wait. Oh. Go, go for it, Sid. Oh. No, no, you go for it because I think you've been, okay. you like Mark Goldbridge supporting Nottingham Forest. <laughs> 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 but, 
for every game see. I support Man United, but it's like, yeah. how would I say this? I'm kind of like, I support Man United, but I support Jose Mourinho more than I support Man United. And so yeah. that, since he's left, I kind of can't give Ole the credit he deserves because I still out. think he is kind of like a PE teacher. Oh, yeah. I do come into school in the morning. So, uh, back in the day, I was like, oh, have you watched the Man U game? And he's like, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's about A-levels. I don't know if that's Man United or maybe a mix of both. But it's one of those. Okay. That's how I like. Because <laughs> I was just like, I have nothing to up. add into this. No, it's fine. No, to be fair, let's go back to what you're saying before the recording, which was which never happened. Mm. But you said, oh, it's, you think it might be a bit too chill for us to get back into uni. It's too easy. No, say? it might be a case. No, you'll probably. I don't know what the case is. No they, exams. Might, they might be harsh because unis give out more offers than they do acceptances. Yeah. And if, if Corona wasn't happening, obviously people would be preparing for their exams yeah. and it would be yeah. based a lot more on results as well. Yeah, that's and what... obviously, there's no clearing or anything like that as well. So a lot of people who... still clearing. They, they said... probably will be, but they, said... they okay. have announced it, haven't they? Oh, have they? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, things like well, also like what is it? Adjustment stuff, or some people like they might, you know, the potential of them getting the grades that they yeah. would have actually got on the exam is obviously di- like no... yeah. You know, whatever you're predicted, there is loads yeah. of people usually get higher than they were expected, like. That's quite. Yeah. That's quite a common thing. I think Jude, you should be fine because you're very. You got the grades. Like you've got your predicted yeah. grades, but what's to say that you were aiming for just your predicted? You might have been predicted. <laughs> yeah. You might have been aiming for even higher that. Yeah. You're putting all that effort in. Yeah, that's what I think. It? That's one of our viewers asked. Uh, they want to know about you, Jude. Your views on the new grading system? How they're going to do it? What you think? Um, you guys have been like completely. What was it? What? Mugged off in every way though. Like everything is like well, oh, every. Yeah. Did you yeah. feel oh, that? Because yeah. grammar school students maybe have a high advantage. I don't know. Um, uh, my thoughts on it, I think, to yeah. be fair, I, I see why people complain, but at the same time, like, if you think they're going to base it based on two years' worth of work, you can't then suddenly get angry if, like, let's say you predicted a B, and then you're like, oh, I think I could I could have got, like, an A star, but then you've had two years to show that you could have got an A star, for example. Yeah. So I think it, mm. yeah, most I agree. people get what they, like, wow. deserve, but I think some people probably will get massively mugged off. And then, like, I feel for those people. It will very much change the mindset because when I was at school, I when I did mocks, if I'm going to be honest, I yeah. never did. I, I, the only one I did well in was the one that I was kind of, I guess, not to say naturally good at, but the one that I just knew I had the ability to without doing as much revision, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. in comparison to subjects no. that really require proper revision. Yeah, I agree with you and Jude's views about, like, oh, you have to show it to prove it. But, yeah, because I've done. I've basically that's been my mentality anyway. I was like, oh, I might as well just consistently get. Yeah. Always treat every okay. test as if it's like the real thing. Yeah. But some people will maybe a bit disagree with you and say, wait, what if you just one of those people who gradually get better and better as we that's go on and never true. had the chance to prove that that's they got a star and ha- now they have to redo an exam. And it's also it's with like, the mindset well, of mocks. A lot of the times before, for years, teachers say, don't worry. It's a practice. It's just kind of for us to decide. Forget about A level even predictions, but like in school, in general, for out being huh? like doing tests at school, I don't know. Have you ever, never had them say? Very rarely. Did, it's only when it becomes kind of serious or if it's based on predicted grades that they say take it seriously. I like know. I had I them a lot saying, "Don't be too disheartened. It is a mock. You know, we know your ability. Blah blah blah." Yeah. There's also that. And a lot of people, they're like, "I'm not focusing on, on the mock because I've got so many other subjects to focus on." You know. So they yeah. might have done really badly in a mock that in a subject that they actually are quite good at. Yeah, do you, you do, have you have you heard from anybody who's been like really like disappointed, like or feel like they've been mugged off a bit, or do you think most of us in our school are like all right with it? I think I think in our school probably most people will feel like what they get is probably what they would have got if like they revised and like you know didn't the actual yeah. exam. So I think that's some of the guidance is that they're giving teachers you know don't just base it off on like one mark or like one assessment like give the grade that you feel your student would have got if they had, like, done the exam, yeah. had yeah. those extra months of, like, revision, etc. But mm-hmm. I think, like, an issue has been raised up, for example, um, people of, like, ethnic minorities get a lot less predicted. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that. I've then, seen like, that. Though. Yeah, and so based I... on the area as well, schools in deprived areas, a lot of the schools sometimes, for them, they only aim for a certain amount or they only let their kids do found- foundation grades or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So if the highest you can get in a certain exam is a C or a B, yeah. well, then your predicted grade is, for most of them, like, might never actually be the top grade. It might be 
are lower than that. Okay. So how do they factor course working? Because for my own well, sanity. they should have done that. For my own sanity, wait, please. Can I... you tell me what's happening? Okay, wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you go first. Because right? English or for a subject like history, or not English, for example, I've done really average in like exams, but for coursework, I did really good somehow. Yeah. But yeah. You, Isn't it based uh, on the percentage? Do you think, you think, because oh, someone, uh, someone texted me from the English chat, English group chat, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because Mr. Debate told us to do that. But yeah, um, he. I think I heard one of you say, oh, the coursework doesn't matter. Or does it? No, sure. it, okay, in the real thing, sorry, I'm just going to chime in. Yeah. Back in my day, which wasn't that long ago. Back you in my, like, my day. Yeah, no, it wasn't <laughs> that long ago. But um, it was like, let's say coursework was like 30, 40% and the exam was worth more or weighted more. That's yeah, usually how it's always been. This is extreme circumstances now. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying that's how it would have been weighed. Yeah, but yeah. now, obviously, they have to weigh that way more than the exam. Yeah, so, so do, you, do, you, do you think coursework still gonna, has to be heavily relied upon or how much do you think that's going to be seen? Um... Well, the thing is, is that, like, for example, our coursework was going to be sent off the end of this month, sort yeah. of start May, and now they're saying you shouldn't be doing any more coursework. So who knows? Who knows what could happen? I'm not really sure if they'll take coursework into... Is that, said... I, is that why our English teacher, Mr. Dubai, uh, <laughs> that's why he's I don't know like I said that. it like that, yeah. but that's why he said, oh, just hand it in really quickly, like hand it in as soon as possible. Is that why he said that? I, I guess so. I just think it's they'll use coursework to think up of a grade. What happens yeah. if you haven't finished it though? Or is it like tough luck? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I honestly, think they're not gonna completely be like, oh, she didn't, they didn't hand yeah, coursework. Yeah, they'll use the other. If they yeah. didn't even ask for it or demand for but it. But when they announced it, like you know, at the start they said, oh, they're gonna use previous attainment. Does that mean GCSEs? Anything they've already got on you. They might actually use GCSEs, but not that much. Because GCSE is literally... Previous attempt. Did you, you hear about this? Can I just also chime in? Oh, wow. Do you not think that during GCSE time, they yeah. really milked the seriousness of that? Like, they're yeah, like, this they is to. part of your life. This is going to decide everything. Yeah. La, la, la. Your future. And I'm looking... No, as <laughs> as, as now that I'm almost 23, I'm like, this is bullshit. No, no one I, cares. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Jude has experience. Uh, our English teacher, he apparently is very, like, angry, like, towards the end of the exam. So a lot of teachers get that feeling don't they they want to like they want to scare you into doing the exam. no they do it because the school needs to prove to everyone in the area that they've got kids with good grades that's why they yeah. scare them into it and milk it and they're like this is so important hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, your future. they want to put on a banner outside that 90 percent of their kids got a star to see that's joke, why <laughs> that they don't actually like in the in the grand scheme of things that actually the only important yeah. one and you you have to keep taking it until you get it actually or you end up paying for it is english and maths is it fair? No, but is it fair if they get loads of people on the same grade, they need to space it out like they normally did because that's what they said they would do. Yeah. So if they use GCSEs and someone got a bad GCC, but they actually did really good in A-level and that's how they separate the difference. That, I, I, there's going to be... So people are going to get mugged off with that entirely. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the football situation. It's like, it doesn't like matter what people, they do. There's loads of people I know that have like literally straight A stars <laughs> at GCSE and then their A-levels are like Bs yeah, yeah, or Cs. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying Bs or Cs are bad, but yeah. in comparison to the straight A stars from GCSE to get a different grade in A-level, it sh actually shows that it's a completely yeah. different playing field. Like, yeah, playing people, field. Aren't, people aren't like... It's not, oh, you'll get an A-star in Jesus, see, then you'll like, get an A-star. it's not guaranteed. And yeah. vice versa, like, yeah. some people have got lower grades, maybe Ds, maybe Cs, maybe, like, you know, kind yeah. of average <laughs> grades. And then in A-level, they've got full marks, you saying. know. There's definitely, the, you know. Yeah, you got you got to trust them to make that call. And also, that. people, like, age. Like, you're not the same as you were when you were, like, 15 doing a test. There you are, no. two years later, realising that oh. you, you're trying to start a yeah. career path or whatever. Oh wait, Jude. What are you? What are you applying for to Ooh. study? Uh, I'm applying to do philosophy and literature. So oh, my guy, well, my guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the good thing about it is that it's not one of the massively competitive courses. So like the grade well, offers are kind of a bit. Down. Well, history's a bit. Yeah. It might be competitive. I think that's good. At philosophy. That's true. Dual kind of. Um, yeah, dual yeah, stuff in it. Subject yeah. might be a bit more chill because. Yeah. Yeah. So what, no, I heard you. I just heard it while we were laughing. You sneaking a little Liverpool jab. Is that what I heard? Oh, not live. Well, not Liverpool jab. But you're saying like uh, with football. I think yeah. it's kind of different with GCSE than football because you know <laughs> Liverpool are going to win the league and they're like twenty odd points ahead. Yeah, but I think like, they should finish the season. I think. 
you, you know. Think, do you think? Do you think they should finish the season? But are we comparing GCSEs to football? No, we just that segue. That's the segue. Oh, right. That's segue. All. Is... That's all. <laughs> all right. Segue. I don't know what's going on in this. Shit. No, because people saying they should. They should. <laughs> some people are saying just end the season, or should they f- continue the season on? Because they've cancelled the Euros. For this. Well, well, well apparently I mean, they cancelled Eurovision. Of course, they're going to cancel <laughs> Eurovision. Uh, anything Euro related is going to be cancelled. Yeah, 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 but that, well, that leaves time. You know, a whole yeah, plan, yeah. like to do like a massive three games a day uh like for think six... that's gonna happen uh, that would be amazing if it happened i think it'd kill some players but at the same time <laughs> yeah you are yeah amazing yeah it would be amazing but it's a pipe dream i think i think it's an absolute pipe dream i think i mean it's big crowds so like i think they're gonna i think they... what do you think they should do you think they should finish the season like because i know liverpool's gonna win the league or oh, people don't I mean, want that to happen pay or... Is, isn't their pay already getting capped like yeah that's... i don't think they're gonna be in the yeah, mood yeah. today yeah, what's going on with that? Thirty percent. I mean, a lot of them are really rich, but then they said there's people that aren't that rich in football, like, like just pub, pub, well, right. professional footballers, but they Big like earn a, an average kind yeah, of. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stuff on BBC News saying that oh yeah, us players are being like put into a corner, put bi- into a corner, and make a decision now. No, I think the big players who earn obviously in the millions and whatever, or work like or whatever they get paid, because yeah, yeah, yeah. there are some that get paid ridiculous amount. Fine, Alexis Sanchez, <laughs> you're already going to still be rich anyway. But the ones who I guess are young, there's some people who technically are signed to a football team yeah, yeah. who are literally earning like very, like it's decent. League one, league one. Like, at the end of the day, I they die. might still be paying they're rent. Like, they yeah. might not necessarily like bills or whatever they've got yeah. to pay. Have you pay. watched Sunderland Till I Die, Jude? Because I watched it. It's fantastic. I have not watched it, but um, I'm told that it's like very super emotional. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's very emotional by the end. But obviously, because we already, if you know, if you already You're know it. what happened. Yeah. 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 It's like, but at the start, it's so funny. Their owners are so funny. They got like an Eddie Hearn chairman type chairman. It's like the office. It's like some of the, some of the scenes, like they allow the cameras to be there and they're talking about like, oh, how do we get players to get in the stadium? And like people are just not responding. They're just sitting there. There's utter silence. And they're filming it like it's the office or the thick of it or something. It's funny. The thick of it is great. Yeah, yeah. I started watching that. Another good comedy. Awesome. With Peter Capaldi. Oh, you watched the thick of it? I uh, finished it. It's, finished it. Peter it's really funny. It's amazing, isn't it? He I actually really... is. They kind of should have given him that energy in Doctor Who, I'm still thinking. Oh. Just without the swearing, but he should have been like... It's a, it's a lockdown. It's a fucking <laughs> lockdown. That's been everywhere. He... We're in... Qu- no, was it? Yeah, they're like, what? We've been... I don't know what they say at what, some who, point. Who, who, they're like... Clara? No, yeah. in the thick of it. Oh, oh, he says it's a lockdown and they're all like saying... <laughs> one of them says something a little still bit Still in funny. my mind. <laughs> yeah, she's so weird. <laughs> That's Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, can I tell Jude the story about when my friends came over to our house and they saw all your posts? Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. <laughs> okay, basically... <laughs> oh no, I'm, I immediately regret it. It's just it's funny, funny because it's you, fun. like, it's not even that funny. Okay, say it, say it. Basically, I remember one time I invited friends round, I don't even remember what the reason was. Yeah. And Sid's room, because he used to share with my older brother, he had the bigger room. So... By the time Omar had, Omar had moved out, yeah. there was just, Sid had just taken over the entirety of the walls. Oh, yes. And so imagine 13, 14 year old Sid, right? <laughs> Not even that, you're probably like boy. 11, 12. Yes. He has nothing. Like every poster, literally nearly every, like 99% oh, of the no. posters he had were all Doctor Who. One of the posters, yeah. every single one no, my, of all the my different My favorite doctors. one was the one with David Tennant, Matt Smith, and Christopher Eccleston all in one shot as a Yeah, David. yeah. Oh. It was everywhere. And I remember my friends came into that room because that the main computer was in your room. Yeah. So I was like, oh, Sid, like, we need to use the computer yeah. for a bit. And I'm then like... he's like, yeah, sure. He leaves the room. And they're all looking at the posters like, there's a lot of guys on this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Sid Ray. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's actually funny. And they're like, where's the women? And the funny thing is, all the women were on the other side of the poster. So it looked even more Oh, my sketchy. God, was it? Wait, how did you know that? Huh? Did you check the no, size no, of the poster? Covered, and, no, like, they, were like, worry, they, they were like, why aren't these posters fully stuck down? I was like, oh, because there's another side to it Thanks. with the women on it. And he's like, why is he covering the women? Oh, I was like, no. first of all, I mean, we're all like teens. The way so... you said that, the way you phased it makes it even sound uh, more he... bait. Yeah. Actually, I don't mind. I'm not, I'm just, I don't there's mind gay people. I love Jay. the LGBT community, but Joe Exotic. No, it was just funny what? at that time. Just... Oh, he's really funny. He's like, I'm a gay hillbilly, oh, no. gun loving. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. before we move oh, on to that, I, I need to talk, we need to talk about that. But yeah, let's go on to the other questions. Don't think there's intellectually a focus. I'm still not over that. Do- okay, so, someone says dark skins or light skins. 
But you know what? Do you know what I say about that? How about no racism? How about, how about that? No, it's just a preference I, to do with something. I don't know. To do with what? I don't what know. What preference? Oh, ask, racism. Uh, ask Sadiq. Yeah, ask him. They're using your full I'm, I'm Asian basic, name. I'm basing him out here. But yeah. Well, I don't come on, Julian, wait for your answer. Come on. Um, I think what Sadiq is trying to get me to say there is to give a preference based on skin colour. And my answer to that is, if I speak, I'm in in big trouble. <laughs> in big also, trouble. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it answer. is big trouble. No, Why? Don't, don't, don't get into it. We can't pick. If you're going to stand in a colour, you better stand, it, stand in but, it. Gina, it have you been shapes. watching Herb Swarms' his lives? No. <laughs> See it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. Well, you do, have you watched it or no? Of course not, Sid. Well, you know of it. Of yeah, I know because I am on what? the social media of social media. Yeah, it's just basically an 8 p.m. show on Instagram, like live. Yeah. Where it's like this, it's a musician, but I never heard of him, but he's not known no, for that now. He's just famous for having women go on and. Yeah. On. Yeah. On Instagram? Yeah, she it basically accepts. Has he got a beard? Oh, what's that got to do with anything? No, I'm thinking of someone else. Is, is he joking? <laughs> <laughs> no, that guy, does he have Instagram jokes? Got a well, basically, he gets, he gets girls to twerk for him. But it's like, they, they, they want to. They're like dancing. And why are you watching that? Hmm? I'm hmm? watching hmm? it. Hmm? I, I've hmm? just seen memes hmm? of it because it's just Instagram's hmm? full of them hmm? memes. Liar. Yeah, they, 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 I don't want to know. Uh, I just got that from the comment. I should have never read his. Wait, what was the final question? Asking about Corona. I think we've covered that, Adil. Corona. Corona I mean, we're all just homebound. Homebound. Well, do you, have, a, do you have exercise? Are you doing your exercise? Are you doing your one day daily exercise? or? You... Yeah. <laughs> just no. Yeah. He's not even elaborate. I mean, to be honest, I've literally not even. I've, not... The only time I've gone outside is to my garden. Do you know what I recommend? Uh, dude, I basically go up the stairs 20 times up and down. It's actually very No tiring. one's going to do that. My mom told me to do that. <laughs> I was like, wow. Mom was like an army sergeant. Like, wait, I'm going to exercise now. No, she actually said it really calmly. I was like, oh, for once she's saying it calmly. I'll do it. Our stairs are so steep. And, and my legs were dying at, after the first Point few steps. in the garden. In the go- yeah, in the garden. That's what I'll be doing. Oh, most. I thought you meant the steps, like our actual normal Have you been going steps? outside you? Or you've been staying inside? Or can, uh, can I've, you been going out. I've been going out. I've been doing the one form of exercise a day. And yes. I've only gone out to the shops, and that's it. I'm not breaking the rules. I listened, unlike Boris, clearly. So, yeah, I'm not shaking hands with everyone. I, I'm I'm following the rules. Hopefully, yeah. Rona doesn't come doesn't come near me. Hopefully. Yeah. What do you think of Boris Johnson going into intensive care? It's a bit mad, you know. Uh, well, how, mm. yeah, it's you're gonna use your word very carefully. Yeah. It's sad, <laughs> but I'm not gonna it's clap. Sad. I'm not going to clap for Boris. Let's put it that no. way. No, I think it's kind of weird, like to to assume like what, like why. It, I feel like this energy should have been given. Clap like, for the NHS is good. I like. Yeah, that. clap for the, the election. Absolutely, yeah. clap for the, the NHS, election. but also like support the NHS and and fund them, etc. Like et cetera. exactly. You know, and I feel like anyone clapping, like why? Why are you clapping for Boris? Like, because some people say it's not political. With decent he's people our in leader. a decent society. Yeah, like, he's our leader, leader and stuff. And I'm like, how can not clapping for a political leader be apolitical it's political because it means you support him no it's about being be, you, the person you've elect okay fine if you don't want don't no like, he's you, still he the prime minister whether you like it okay, or not question, question guys would people yeah. be clapping if jeremy corbyn was in that situation i don't yeah. think so yeah. i don't think they would i think they no would. they wouldn't because let's be honest anyone maybe clapping, maybe not as many people Tory, but there would still be people clapping there would still Labour, be pe- people clapping or people from labor who beca- like or anyone who feels bad no. or somewhat guilty no i think some people would still be clapping because yeah, it's just people a, were I mean, wishing death on jeremy before the election yeah. so i don't people think you know. death, yeah but that's people why... do that to boris as well don't they or no, not as much not nearly as much people adore <laughs> based boris on what based on what parameters are we talking i'm about? sorry but have you not seen the news, Sid? Have you not seen <laughs> no, Twitter? Twitter? Have you not seen actual articles? Have you like, seen the Twitterverse? Like, <laughs> like Jeremy is like, like was slated Eight? by the media. Yeah. Even the media, like, yeah, but this is before the way this that the TV media has treated Boris yeah, in interviews in comparison still be to Jeremy. By Jeremy Corbyn. No, no they wouldn't. If they clapped for them in their chest, I actually for the don't prime think minister. they would. If they, I doubt it. I, I think they would blame him. They'd say it's his fault. Or they people, would be, people oh, blaming oh, Boris anyway. So no, 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 no. Because the thing is. 
Jeremy, he what he was standing up for, it would be a different scenario because he the, a lot of the things that are now implemented, Jeremy wanted in the first place. Exactly. He, you know, well, so they would have been implemented in, almost immediately. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, actually think, I agree. I agree. Uh, this is why I suspect. And I bet people would be like, oh, he's being a bit like rash or extreme, even in Corona. Yeah. I feel they'd say so this that. Is what I thought they'd you and Jude, you and Jude right. both left wings. Are you, Moral of the you? story is rest in peace, Jeremy Corbyn. I think that is. Oops. Oh, he's alive, God. also at the same time. Rest of oh, I thought he said rest of his body. I was like, what? <laughs> no, but I'm sorry. Oh. I don't. I don't think you can clap for a leader and separate that from the person. That makes no sense. See, the person is the like. It's a. It's a position, but like, why would I clap for a lead, like guys. a leader? Guys, like, the whole point guys, of the leader, they represent. Why can't you something? both support different people so you can argue and provide me with good content? Well, you're the one who's trying to act like your devil's advocate, even though you're just a dumb shit. But Whoa. here we are. This is what the Afghan answer is all about. Teaching I don't me. mean it literally. It's okay. Teaching Since me about the political. Since grinning right now. <laughs> no, this is what this podcast has turned into. Just we're ruthless me, you, siblings. You and we educating me about words. politics. We'll just, we'll just have to argue about Carol Bass. Yeah, this, Actually. Let's this, move on to that then. I've yeah. no, I'll bring that up. What? You know when we're quite cutthroat with each other, but we don't mean it. Yeah. But like, do you, do you, do you, does it sound like we're, I don't know from the other podcasts if you've heard them. Do we sound I'm a bit? Of them. Listen, I'm a big Afghan answer fan. Oh, oh I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> I was just looking at each other like, Jesus. <laughs> yesterday, we were on a, on a bloody rampage. What do you mean? I've noticed we're a bit too cutthroat sometimes. No, I no. I swear too much because of you. The lockdown is getting to me a bit. Really the lo- you know, the lockdown's bringing the worst out of all of us. I think it comes off as like, you're both brother and sister. It's all right. I doubt you'd like kill each other. So yeah, it's, yeah. it just sounds like we would. But it yeah, sounds like we would, but we really don't. <laughs> I think it's because it's like I'd rather if anyone's gonna talk shit, I'd rather my siblings do that than a stranger. Exactly. Like you'd rather be, and also if you, you, you need somewhere to vent it out. I'm getting vent. And as long as it's not like actually meant, yeah. it's all good. Oh god. Because yeah. I couldn't do that with. Jude. I was getting really. I could be I'm... like, hey, Jude, I just be like, die, like that's. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Die. No, you. you no, I've noticed. <laughs> His accent of really got to it. Well, Gazal, basically, I feel, I feel like you always want to know the other point of view. Like, you want to know, like, oh, are we sounding too crazy to the other yeah, point of view? Yeah, because I've been, li- like, I don't, I feel like it's quite jarring to listen to your own voice back. You think? You were listening to it all I... day yesterday. What do you no, mean? No, it was just for 20 minutes. Because I was like, what? No, because we just go into a conversation, like, what the hell am I saying before I ruin my reputation? And like, in the future, they're like, hey, we found this from 20 years ago that you did a podcast. And they'll find out that I've said some, like, or they'll take it out of context. Because it's one minute, but one minute you're like, oh, I don't care what people say, I'll just say what the hell I want. No, I mean, you only like that when you're exposing me. When this is yourself, it doesn't matter. No, I think it's also just like, (laughs) because I'm with you, I, I just say what. I think deep down, like, I haven't really said anything crazy. Yeah. But I think there might be something that someone disagrees with me. There was one one of the podcasts I did go political. If someone isn't a fan of... I, I think I haven't really declared my political views, but it's kind of obvious well, where I sit. You clearly have. But okay. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> no, but I haven't explicitly Brexit. said, I support blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying who I don't yeah, like. You very clearly voted Brexit. Uh, yeah. You're very... No, I didn't. Um, very clearly you kept. It's so clear. No, I'm joking. Uh, but, um, yeah. you know, like, and so people will, there's obviously going to be people who completely disagree with me. I mean, do you remember, do, did you know some people actually on our street did clap for Boris? It was only like two people. But Yeah, my dad. Dad didn't. We told, we told him not to. He, he's not even a Boris guy. I was like, why are you clapping? He's no, like, oh, he I just looks, feel bad he's ill. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, what's, wrong, clap. what's wrong with clapping for someone and feeling no, bad they're ill? Especially they're, all the neighbours are going to think we're conservative. Say that again, say that again. It's not going to resuscitate them. If you clap for Boris, it's not going to be magically it's not, enough. It's really start. redundant, actually. You like, what we should me. be doing is holding government to account for all the... All, no one's clapping for the actual people that have died we so are. far. Oh, we are. No, what? When have oh, we shit, clapped we for are. the people who have died? Oh, no, they're not. All of a sudden, clap for Boris, he's ill. Why aren't you clapping yeah, for the, people don't like the, the three show. doctors he... who died, the nurses who died, the other oh, millions yeah, of... Yeah. Like, well, not too not fair. millions yet, but millions infected, I think. But hundreds and hundreds people of people dying. Them. Yeah, people are mourning no. for them. But they don't like to show but that I haven't morning. heard them... The, the first thing they want to clap for is NHS workers. It's like, fair play. But even some people have had me- mixed messages about that. It is very sweet. Like, mm. we do need to show our support. But it is redundant if we're not actually no, I've doing seen, anything. I've seen on Instagram protect, people protect saying rest in peace to people who are like nurses who have died. Like, yeah, so but it's, so... it's also mostly the families of those people who have, yeah. you know, or like I haven't heard much on the news. Like, uh, nearly a thousand people died. Yes, like nine hundred and something people died uh, yesterday. And that's one of the worst ones, yeah, and that was one of Italy's worst. But you do watch, you watch the news, you, don't you? 
the Guardian. Yeah. And they didn't As report that host. first. They didn't report that first. They were like, Boris is in bed. You know, or he's okay. Oh, I've had some... They did, they said he's sitting up in bed. <laughs> Boris is in bed. So don't tell me that anything about clapping for Boris or showing sympathy yeah. isn't a political um, Everything is political. Motive. It is. Oh. Everything is. Being apolitical is political. Speaking of political, Carol Baskin versus Joe Exotic. So how would you rate that documentary, dude? Do you think it was a really good documentary? I think it was really good. I think it was a really good documentary. It kind of, it's a bit slow to get into it. Yeah, but then, same. Yeah, like, from episode, like, I'd say three onwards, yeah. just every episode's a banger. Episode two ended, oh, like, oh, Carol Oh, I Cooper. actually thought even the first one was a bit, I was the like, thing what is, the... the first two episodes are about, I think, setting it all up. It, setting yeah, all the set, set the set scene. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carol, you know. Because I was like, I'm sorry, these guys seem so dodgy, but then it it did look like in the beginning. Oh, yeah, guys, spoilers. Yeah. Uh, in nice. the beginning, it's like, oh, well, I'd rather these crazy people be looking after animals if that's what they're actually doing and look after them properly. And then it just all goes to shit near the end. Massively. Also, the bit where there's one episode, was it just the last one or the one before that, where he's in the tiger cage and basically the, the, one of the tigers keeps smelling his foot. Yeah. His leg like, gets ripped off and then he's yeah. like, I'll shoot you in the ass. Yeah, and yeah. he's like shooting him. He's like, <laughs> I'm going to put a bullet right between your bitch eyes. And yeah, I'm that's like, after ah! his last mental stability. <laughs> Joe Exotic, he, at the start, he's a very charismatic guy. You're like, oh, he's a weirdo, but he's not as weird as you these You can people. tell that fame has really gotten, like, his narcissism Jeff and his Lowe, ego. I think when Jeff came into the picture, that's what ruined Jeff. Um, Joe Exotic. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and do you know what? The thing is, yeah, Jeff really fucking conned him over, for sure. Mm. But the fact that, yeah, he's such a nonce as well. All those young girls that are, like, my age, and this guy's, like, Not just him, something. Joe Bhagavan. <laughs> that, that, that guy, like a Joe but oh, that that guy actually—he's like, he he's like an evil version. Mouth, he's an evil version of the Jurassic Park guy, isn't he? The moment he opened his mouth, I was literally like, "This guy sounds like he's in a Scientologist." The cult. thing is, he doesn't do and anything. He in a cult, well, he's not actually part of the story, though. He just inspires Joe to be the. He's just, he's just there to be. Bag he's around another example. Yeah, he's, he's another example of dodginess within the... He's a cult, he wants to be a cult leader? He is a cult leader because all the like, all the girls that work for him are kind of groomed and it's like yeah. a weird cult yeah. of personality for him. Yeah, I, all I can say is they're all very weird people. I think that is the main takeaway from Tiger King yeah. is they're all yeah. very weird. What did you think of some of the conspiracies? The conspiracy that Carol Baskin fed her husband to tigers yeah. or killed him in weaker. some way? <laughs> or... <laughs> or the conspiracy about there was another one as well. What was about it? Joe burning the building? Yeah, Joe burning the building. Yeah, it was definitely Joe. Burning. That was oh. definitely Joe. That was so <laughs> all right, all right, fake. All right, let's let's do Carol. Case, then. case closed. But Carol, that's more open ended. Yeah. What are your views on Carol? Do you... Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin. I feel sorry for her um, by the end. I don't know how why. can you feel sorry for that woman? She's she, such I, a Hillary a vibe. Bit, a bit. You know. Because if it wasn't... if it, and, No, because we don't know if she actually did anything wrong. No, but she's we still dodgy in the way. Happened. She knows exactly I'm, what happened. You think, it's, oh, you think it's, like, close to, like... You think it's pretty obvious it's her. Probably. Because how does a guy that rich just go missing? Unless he's doing drug stuff on the side or going yeah. to Costa Rica and, like... My thing... Oh, that's also another Wait, conspiracy. How do you, how do you both know it's so it? obvious that he killed... How do you know the it's The way obvious? she treated... um, What's his name? Um... John's family or whatever, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. and then the way she spoke, and then she was like, "Oh, I, I, I want people back, so they know I can kill." Can say that again? You want people's what? No, she the way she was like, "Oh, I want um him to, I want someone to prove." Oh, see, I didn't do it. She's not wanting him to come back alive. She clearly knows he must be dead. Yeah, she so was act acting very emotionless. That's the only basis. Also, what was it with that with the document that um? What was it? The lawyers were like, why does it mention disappearance in his yeah, will? Yeah, 37 yeah. years, I've never seen that. Whenever you hear someone say something like that, you know, guilty. I also, but I think Don was also dodgy as the well. Is, the fact he was thinking... Nancy for going with a... Like, Carol Nancy. was young. You don't, you don't know if it's a Nancy. 14, it's just a yeah. Is it a... What? It's 14 old. She was young. She was young, no, she was young when they got married. Just... Like, all, like, knew each other. And the fact he cheated on his wife and literally left his wife and kids for that Basically, person. Basically, so either she got... She killed him with the tigers, or whatever way she did. Or yeah, yeah, she he, probably didn't feed him to the tigers, but she probably just shot him or something. Yeah. Or I was thinking, he said he if he pulled, he called that guy. He was like, if I pull this off, it'll be the slickest thing he'll ever he'll ever do. 
and he disappears. Does that I mean he, he ran away to another private island or some? Because when he cheating on someone in yeah. Costa Rica, he might have been like, actually, this girl's way yeah. better. Yeah. So Fled do you think? There. Do you think that's a possibility, dude? I think it is. I think it's he could. He could be alive. He could be walking around in Costa Rica for all we know. With so do you think uh, that's more. You think that's more likely pack. than her be, being dead. I I think she probably killed him and hid him under the septic tank or fed him to targets. It's one of the two. I, 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 I know. She, she definitely knows what's happening. Carol does there. seem like she could. Like Her eyes were like, when she was talking about it, she seemed husband either was... defeated of the fact that people were accusing her of, yeah. of it or she was kind of like, well, even yeah. if I did or didn't, I didn't like him anyway. So. Yeah. Her husband, her new husband looks like Prince Charles. I love it. Yeah. He... But, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we nice. know where your allegiance is. No, I think he's a nice guy. I think, I think, I think he, she got someone really sweet because she's been with that asshole before who apparently the first husband who was abusive and i think she's from her experiences she probably doesn't give a yeah, crap you, have you seen men. that little um like that little it's not memes it's like information from social media that maybe that jeff guy is the same person as the oh, first husband oh have you seen that dude who do you know jeff Lowe? there was a theory that he's actually carol baskin's first husband because they How were side that... by side yeah because he's apparently no, that guy they also bit, they look he... a bit similar from like far but then well, the no, age no. don't match up. The like the ages can't match up, can they? Well, they did it. I'm sorry. The side by side looked pretty good, though. Yeah. But, you, but you yeah, believe? But I'll send it to Sid to send it to you. It's it's obviously probably not true because also th- they would have probably mentioned his actual legal name because because they said that he also went to jail for like choking his wife or something yeah. or or uh, like domestic violence. He's had yeah, like he case like. Incidents of that. So Jeff Lowe is also a twat. Apparently, they're even reopening the case against Carol. So she might actually go to prison. Who knows? What do you mean? Go to the, the same. There's new evidence. Uh, well, uh, they're going to do a new documentary on it, and then they're, the police have reopened the case. So maybe they're going to find the guilty. And watch them find another him documentary. Another, yeah, yeah. Or, or like it's a movie. About kind Carol of... about the husband. That's a bit. They're really like. I'm not saying that Carol is innocent by all means i think anyone who's kind of involved around those kind of people like joe back um no joe exotic yeah doc joe mantle joe baskin <laughs> like the fact that carol kind of i know she says that she's from a big cat rescue but she's pretty much doing exactly what they're doing just of a lesser they, degree she has her own fucking tiger thing so they're both well. doing the same thing you're much. telling me that she knows exactly how to take like i'm sorry if you truly care about animal rights you'd want them in the wild you would not want them or like you'd want them in like a kind of captivity that's really properly done by like experts. And so I don't trust her at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Joe Exotic was hell bent on taking down Carol from like the videos he did, much like Top Man Sid. <laughs> that was so dark when he had that dummy and was putting the things in her mouth and shooting. Yeah, it. that's that when was it. That's when it like you saw shit. the evolution. It went from just oh, I'm an entertainer, I'm a showman, but then it turns into narcissism. No, but I actually Carol think he has, has a deep seated hatred for carol because remember the legal settle- settlement that brought, brought jeff in like he was scapegoating scapegoating his downfall and his own idiocy and his behavior and kind of projecting it onto carol yeah. because but remember the, the, time, the case was like how much money he owed back. But at the same time what we same, same time what? i think like carol the way she treated uh, joe especially like joe's mother and saying that yeah. the house has to go into her name she yeah. really wanted joe so i think Joe is bad, but Carol at the same time. I think they're just both as bad as each other, really. Could Carol yeah. just be a greedy woman who wants money? Greedy she's... on another level. Why well, not greedy... as bad as other people. I'm sorry, but how can you sit there and say you care about animal rights and the first thing you go for is wanting his assets, not even like, hey, I want the tigers to be in safe. No, but does she even happen? treat the tigers badly? Does she? Well, the cages didn't look really clean or like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she was filming everyone queuing up to see her sanctuary bullshit. And it's like, it's all you're, views. It's she's all views, just also it? there for views because she's doing the same YouTube thing. Okay, she's not psycho enough to do all the gun shoot and hillbilly stuff. But, you know, <laughs> just and a, be like, yippee ki But, like, yeah. she's literally... It's like... Her demeanor is very Clinton, like Hillary, yeah, Hillary Clinton vibes. Yeah. Obviously, very, right? like, yeah. She ain't great, but she's acting like she's greater because she's not on their level. Pokemon go to the. <laughs> Just because she hasn't got any. <laughs> I don't know. I said that. <laughs> Just because she hasn't got a, like a cult of personality around. Oh, I love Joe. Bob. But to be Joe, no, it's so funny. Be... No, because he starts off so emotionless, and then he becomes so into Duck it Mantle when he's talking about Joe Exotic. He's like, "Oh, I'm actually." Oh. No, he's, he's very such angry. an irritant. He sounds like the biggest creep. Yeah, and yeah, kind of yeah. noncy as well. Like, they're all old men just after people you that are some old tiger to be print, their kids. some tiger print spandex? And they've all got, like, five wives or husbands. Like, yeah. They're all very... have, like, yeah. Mormons and that, yeah? <laughs> no, just polyamorous. Not even polyamorous. That. That's what it is. I love that. It's 
big one. I was gonna say. Now, do you know what really sealed it for me that Joe Exotic is a dickhead? More than like, I was entertained by him oh, at the start. Oh. Him manipulating his boyfriends or giving them money, showering oh, them with gifts. Yeah. The even dragon, when not gay. And the bit with the the head, the 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 the, the gunshot, and he, and he, on camera, uh, that guy's face. That poor guy's. Face. He almost thought it wasn't real because he it was, was literally like, an what? hour before we started this podcast. Like our faces went. We were like, oh, uh, you see the flash of the gun, like it's yeah, actually... yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just got some random kid to be the campaign manager. He just knows a bit more about politics. And the politics. fact that he married two months after, like, I'm sorry, but that's so, like... And he even said, I fell in love with straight men, and it's... No, yeah, but... So you non-stop coerced, drugged yeah. a young boy... Manipulated Old him. enough to be your Obviously, kid. it's their fault as well a bit. Obviously, they And essentially, if life, they're not but... gay, then if you guys are doing something, which clearly, obviously, stuff went down, it probably wasn't even really consensual. But he, if he you're was never... Because if you never intoxicated, it's not very much alcohol you know yeah I'll, yeah that alcohol's the you, you bloody bottom of the barrel there it sounded really like, like a hellscape imagine being trapped in a freaking tiger caged yeah she became controlling so you can't leave keep... you can't get a job you, can, yeah. you just have to yeah. stay where i can see you and once he goes once he kills himself two months later he gets a new boyfriend got, and you know what and it's like you can tell he got vulnerable people because to be honest his ex-husbands all of them seemed quite nice people meek yeah. sweet kind of like Who? um joe's husbands is he? Are they all white people? Yeah, I think they're all right. I don't they're think a bit they're, weird, and, but... Yeah. Well, yeah, the fact that they... I'm not saying... Like, I don't know everything. Where, um, but... where, what do you call it? Where, like, they're talking about how he gets people who are, like, really vulnerable, and then Joe speaks to this mm-hmm. woman, and it's like, oh, I'll give you a house to stay, a place to stay if you come work for me. It's quite weird. It's, it's yeah. grooming, yeah. Yeah. It's exactly the same as what Jeff Lowe was doing and Doc Mantle with the, exactly. the fact that they, they get luring women in, young women... With these cats and tigers, yeah, like anyone. But this it... was personal. This was like, I need love. I need affection. Because he didn't it's have actually... any. By the end, you see him. He's a very lonely man. He hasn't got any friends really. Anyone who really cares about him. You know what I mean? That's the problem. Well, that's also his fault. Like, no yeah. offense. Even the him. producer, he set fire to the place and he mugged off the producer because the producer yeah, all, he was... all owned all this footage. He he cares about being famous. Like, he actually his that's warped him. Because in the beginning, I bet he actually cared about those animals. But the more that's that he became, came... yeah. yeah, more he came obsessed with like putting an image for himself like you it know. wasn't also the people he didn't have anyone else to be with like really like an actual fully f- normal relationship not a messed up one you know what i mean well that's his fault maybe you shouldn't drug and coerce people and groom people. he didn't drug them he gave them the drugs it's like you have the, the one of the people if said you're it, the, 19 what? and you're at that no, age no, no, I'm and you're about... hanging around with old men creepy yeah, men yeah, yeah. no offense yeah but at that age you are going to be likely to drink smoke want to go yeah, out yeah, no, i'm not disagreeing with you i'm not disagreeing with you i'm just and saying it's easy to get hooked i'm saying one of the people, one of the people said it uh, themselves. Um, it says, "Oh, you have to make, you have to make to manipulate someone to groom someone. You have to make it so you're the only person who can give them what they want." And that was meth. Yeah, and they became dependent on Joe Exotic for guns, drink, drugs, everything. Yeah. So, yeah, to that no one's saying that they were even it, perfect, it didn't even become about. It wasn't that's even about the tigers by then. It wasn't even about the tigers. Yeah. It was about the animals who were the humans, not the animals themselves. Now, they all. So that is English man. analysis. Though. It was the fact that he had like two hundred <laughs> tigers and something. Like I was like, how do you have that many? Like what? Yes. Yeah, and, and how are you still alive? You know. I know, but I mean, they obviously must have. We did see them hit him, so. Yeah, it's funny how yeah. the the way they try and like end the cover agent to see like to, mm. to spot him doing the thing in it. Who's doing that? Corona. Was there anything else you wanted to kind of mention, Jude, yeah. about the plans for the? We've got the, the show, show itself that you thought was interesting. About a lot. The there's a lot of layers to this. Like, there's a lot. Oh, oh you mm. mean about Tiger King? Um, yeah. I was going to say, at the end, I just wrote a few questions. At the end, do you think the fact that, obviously, Joe is now imprisoned, he's in a cage, the Tigers are in a cage, is it kind of karma for all that yes. he's yes. been doing? You've smashed it, yeah, yeah. it's karma. I would say it's karma. Because he was, he was ironic because he was saying that, oh, Cal he's Baskin's like, going to get what karma. she deserves. She, and because she wait, no, but... he hates women as well. Like you can see, he. Do you remember when his husband went off with some woman? He was and like, "Cheat on me with a man, fine, I'm game, but cheat on me with a woman, like I can't take I'll that." that. <laughs> and I was like, "Why do you care if it's a woman or a man? Like the fact that they've left you is bad enough. Like, what has gender got to do with it?" You know, so because I think he could have been a nice guy, a charismatic guy, but it's just like it's what happens. He, he kind of reminds me of what's his name. Is his name Keith or something? Was it Keith? What's it with blonde hair? And he was on, he was on that show. What show? With Holly Willoughby and Fern <laughs> Cotton. Lemon. 
Yeah, Keith Lemon, that's it. <laughs> I thought Keith Lemon was a, a real person for like no, it's years. No, like, it's like a character. It's like, but yeah. It doesn't even remind like you a bit like, yeah, like, like if Keith Lemon We're was kind of hinges. literally <laughs> was gay gun on acid. Coward. Yeah, it was, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, flamboyant clothing in it. I know. You know, he was that kind of gay that did like music videos and like yeah. flamboyant outfits. I will. I will be. I will give that to his him. music's making auto tune. Yeah, uh, I know. I thought that was brilliant with his outfits. It's got stuff. like millions of views, you know, on YouTube. Though, still, well, I mean, he's even more famous now because of this Netflix documentary. Yeah. No. It's even gone all the way to Trump. Did you President see? Trump talked about him. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, he's got the fame he's wanted. If he now. pardoned him, yeah, but that's ironic. He gets yeah. the fame, but now he's he's done for me. But I think people in America actually probably like that guy. Like they've really like shat on Carol Baskin. I feel like. Now, do you know? Do you see the so music good. video where they get the body double of Carol yeah. Baskin? It looks yeah. exactly yeah. like her. That actually did like that woman. In the <laughs> I thought it was Carol Baskin. I same. I was like, wait, what's Carol Baskin hanging it? out with Joe? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I couldn't stand her hair. I think. I just, too... I just couldn't stand her in general. She just looked... uh, yeah. There was oh. something about her hair that was just like you need to get garden shears. We God, need to just... snip that off. This is irrelevant talking. This is you are judging her. No face. man, and the leopard print. No, I mean if she's a bad and person, I will shit on her clothes. And her husband, who looked like Prince Charles, he seemed so like innocent in some weird way. Like you can tell he's very much the soft one out of them two. Like, yeah, yeah. Carol's Carol has got literally got him on a leash. Like. Quite oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there wasn't a picture of him on the leash. Yeah, yeah that that's that's right. summed up America. That summed up America. Fuck oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's her uh, it God. does make America look bad, you know. It makes me realise as well what I learned, what I took actually from the entire documentary. Oh, don't make it. No. <laughs> it's like, you know how they've been shitting on Asian countries and any country that isn't Western Dream. about how they treat animals? Yeah. Especially China, with, because of the Corona <laughs> pigeons, stuff, you know that they've exaggerated and kind of contorted and scapegoated. Yeah. The irony that America sitting there having people like that dealing like exotic animals and yeah. doing all sorts, yeah, feeding them expired yeah. meats from Walmart, yeah. eating it themselves. No, I was like, there, the a, irony, there is a lot the of hypocrisy. There's a, there's a lot of dramatic irony. I love it. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else can we talk? Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything you want to say, Jude, that you feel like we should discuss? Or About you want to discuss? Well, you mentioned in anything, not uh, when you texted game. me on Skype, uh, you mentioned our trip to Auschwitz, maybe. Oh. If you want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. How was that? Was it just you two that went? Yeah, well, representing our school. But there's oh. loads of other people from other schools. And I met, like, my, 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 Bilal, my old mate. That's so weird that you met your primary school. Yeah, he's got a really through. posh voice now. I love it. Okay. okay. Yeah, how'd you find that? Was that, You want to talk about that or? Yeah, we can talk about that. I'd say um, you can't trip to like Auschwitz. You know, you can't say, "Oh, I loved it. It was great." Um, <laughs> oh my god! It was, yeah, yeah. it was really informative. It was really. Um, it, it is quite sad. I mean, a bit more than sad. But yeah, when the you priest, there, the priest speech at the end that was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when when you actually go there and walk around Jewish and realize how cold it is, and like how awful it was. You, it, saw, the bi- you saw the buildings like cut off and then yeah. um, on everything. Yeah. Exploded by the Nazis trying to get rid of the evidence. They're you know? actually insane. I'm sorry, but after like you've been defeated, but the fact that they even still try, they they were they were trying even at the last leg to get rid of evidence yeah. and things. We're grateful for our history teacher, Mr. Mohammed, letting us go on that trip you know? to be the best history really? student. It is. You do need to go to those kind of places to yeah, see what yeah, what really went down because you can't even when you go there, you can't imagine it unless you go through. Was it, that a year ago? You, you that was a year ago. Kind of least... It was. Time yeah, time exactly. Back. Yeah, a year ago. Time flies, man. Still, still inviting me to press conferences, yeah. <laughs> educational trust. Wait, do you still yeah. contact them? Do you still? Oh no, nah. they still send me emails. I read them. Be yeah. like, yeah, yeah. The Holocaust Educational Trust. To be fair, I do rate what they're trying to do. To be fair. Did you mention that in your in your personal I statement? Did. I did. And, oh. That's how you get in. You know what I mean? That's yeah, you have to milk it. You're literally selling. And also, yourself. my legacy trophy. That's the way I want. Ooh. It's very good for you as a history. <laughs> it's so funny. I got what you know that trophy for that legacy thing. Yeah. And the dude just like thumbs up. I was walking with the Aww, trophy. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Do you remember that time I when it. I, I was? I made that. I made that. Yeah. What? When I used to go to your thingies because mom and dad were at work. Go to that where? year before I went to uni. When you go to where? To see your award things. 
and I'd only go for you, wait for you to see the award, and then I'd just be on my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you just get the award, like, ceremony. That's at your school, At my yeah. old school. He'd make me come to his school to, like, watch him get an award. No, because everybody I, else... I couldn't even see you. I, I was at the back. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm just looking back like, where is she? She's yeah. looking at her phone. I'm like, how dare No, you? not when you were on the stage. I didn't do that. I took a photo yeah, yeah, of yeah. you, idiot. But um, it was a bit annoying because I had to keep trying to like move. And I was trying my hardest not to get clocked by the teachers. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, one of them looked like... at me and kind of stared at me and squinted. And I was like, look away, look away. <laughs> I wonder what you would have been like, Gazelle, if you went to a grammar school for seven years like Jude um... did. Because Jude, to be fair, finished pretty hastily oh, to you. that's a good question. What was What is grammar school like? Because obviously, Sid, you've been to yeah, normal but... comprehensive. Uh, Jude, but, as, well, Jude was uh, very emotional after the seven years. Very yeah. emotional, very it's just, sad. It just ends so quick. Like, I feel sorry you for know, you. You like... know, literally, on the Wednesday, we go to school as normal. And then on yeah. Friday at 12, that's the end. That's seven years finished. But you, so. but you, you don't think it's actually going to happen? That is what I think was the real loss for you guys. It, Forget about the exam. It was a great day, to be fair. It was good goodbye to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But when, it's not, when, you, when you don't know about... Yeah. When it's brought upon you like that. Because yeah. I think it would have been a better feeling... So, I mean, no one really wants to do exams, but it's something you've got to do to prove yourself, I think. Like, once yeah. that, all that, all that studying that you've also been doing, like that, for some people that might have gone to waste, like, maybe no, you guys you, feel a part you, you of You know that picture waste? I took with you when you were crying? Or you just, your eyes are closed. Oh. Look different. I, that's what I showed to Gazelle, like, that's what you look like. Oh, <laughs> so like, that, that, what, what's my best picture, Sid? What, what's <laughs> no, my it's okay. But, like, that's the thing. Like, imagine doing your exams and then you, you celebrate with your friends and, like, have a proper, like, that, that's sad that you never got that. Yeah, but it was it was a good day. We got lots of pictures, lots True. of music. Well, at least you got you know. What is grammar school like with an all boys one? Yeah. What is the well, five years? Yeah, what six forms. Is... Like... What is the? Well, but, well, it, was, it was all right. Five years. I'd say like when it gets like when we were in like year ten, year eleven, you kind of felt that people really um, being around other boys for a long time made people a bit you know lost a bit of sense of reality but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know yeah but yeah it's 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 been a really good experience it's been a good school i can't really fault it for that Aww. well you better say that it made everybody's you. watching so if you if you take a piss then you're gonna pay for it no do you know what i found funny was what sid said because obviously he came during sick form yeah um and I was actually. I've come, I did not want. To, I did want to go. Sid to didn't school. actually want to go to Hansworth Grammar, but I told him. Because you want him, to stay at the school you've always been to, you know. What I mean, it's yeah. only natural, isn't it? And I was like, well, I was like, at the end of the day, it is your choice. But I was kind of like, you I think to... you should move. It would have been dumb if I did everything. <laughs> Looking back. Yeah, I told you. I was right. Because obviously, grammar school is grammar school. Grammar school. It's not even about grammar school. I just thought the change is what you needed. You think? Yeah. yeah. Because well, I think if you stay. Thanks, dude. I needed to change. No, because <laughs> he was like, I want to stay because of my friends. And I was like, well, that is sweet, but like, you shouldn't really base your decisions solely on your friends who probably wouldn't even be in well, your what class. What do you mean anyway. I need to change? Like, just need to change from. Like, I just, I think a fresh start. And also, I kind of actually wanted you to go into an environment where. Yeah, but it feels like that. I've never start. been to grammar school, but I know for a fact when it comes to like doing actual schoolwork and a level is stressful like i wanted you to it be in an envi environment where everyone was actually really trying to get the yeah, grade yeah that's definitely the environment cuz when i went to really cuz i went to the sick form of uh, like our school and to be honest is it you kind of I mean, everyone is left to their own devices. Hands of grammar school is a mix of like hardworking. It's not like all hardworking. I, I know, but... but I think it's a different environment. Wait, is it? Is, would you say? Comparison would you say it's to... good compared to other grammar schools? I don't think. I think it always depends on the person. Jude, Forget even the think... school. But I just thought because apparently was... Hansworth used to be pre bomb on the list, but now it got above like. Most yeah, I'd say like you would say it probably did improve while I was there, like building yeah, yeah, these yeah. etc. But. It's all, on... you, oh. it's all down to you, Jude. It's all down to you. Oh, thanks, Lucy. Oh, student council. <laughs> oh, <student council. laughs> That's cute. <laughs> but That's based hard. on like how other people talk about other grammar schools, I think Hansworth is probably up there as you probably don't rate it as highly as other schools, but based on the experience you get there, it's probably as good an experience, if not better, than what you'd get. At. Yeah. Like a proper king, for would, example. How would you be in Gazelle if you went to a grammar school? How do you think? I would, would have probably been just because you really didn't like person. my school, Parkour. You didn't really like it. I didn't like it because I had a bad experience with it, and I know you had a fairly good one, but I like, hated my yeah, school yeah. with a passion. And back when I was there, like in year seven, before Racism. you were even no, in, yeah. it was. I'm not even joking. It was not nice. It was. Yeah. I hated everything about it, and also I just felt with the teachers, it was like their aim every time was. A C, and I was like, "That's not a bad grade, but I'm definitely worth more than that." Yeah, but or, that's the expectation. They were really. I mean, it's probably changed now, but I do remember nah, they really limited me, and they gave me shit predicted grades. So if I was in your like, and I, 
I, I did all right. What was your predicted end. little round? It you wasn't shit. It was like I think I didn't even get any A's predicted, year, year even though my course was English. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it was one. I don't actually remember, but what? I remember they were predicting me always B's, and I was like, yeah. why? And then they were like, I was like, I've got A in this coursework or for English or yeah, so. I was yeah, like, yeah. how can you predict me a B when I've literally done really well? Yeah. And they were kind of like, well, yeah, like, I didn't know about you. Do they you, really you have a lot of um, you know, keys, yeah, from year seven to eleven. Did you have a lot of supply teachers, you? Because we had a lot. Yeah, and two of my uh-huh. teachers left. That's why I was. Or was it like sorry, all I'm so bitter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I'd say like we had like a, a good few amount of supply teachers or like you know teachers. So the ones who were... you know, Miss Kion, but... was it Miss Kion? Yeah, yeah, like she she was the ones you like... know and like or oh, no. Yeah. But like we did we did we did get like you know one supply teacher leave and one who came and then left after like three months because she was, was just it like I don't, I don't know fed I don't... up. Was she fed... Did you get fed up and stuff? Um, I, I just like apparently like with the one supply teacher we had for science, she was like someone saw her in the corridor crying. And then wow. the next... it's always science, you know. So Whoa. it is always science. It, have you ever had secondary school, a good secondary school experience? If you if haven't, you haven't seen a teacher, teacher cry. Right. Yeah. Well, um, well, this, this is a weird story. Basically, around the corner it was like my other class, like the other science class. You know, like the set four, set five class <laughs> compared to the set twos and like triple scientists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Scientists. Looking down upon the double scientists, like disgusting. It's not even a big I wanted deal. The, I wanted the well. teachers no had to cover can. for like a teacher for like a long time, but it was like a supply teacher acting as if they're a proper teachers. One of those. Yeah. And they got found. They got like kicked out of the school because really? they've got found eating the crayons in the cupboards. Wow. What kind of psychotic. And it was on what, the news. Impo- where? I was like. I was like, mate, you got to prove this to me and show me the news story. I was like, Birmingham teacher gets found out <gasps> oh eating crayons my in the cupboards. God. I was like, what? Dude, I heard some of my friends who, when they were at school, they, like they didn't go to my school, but from uni that I met, one of yeah. them said that they had really noncy teachers that when some kids left the school, they ended up marrying someone who was technically their student before. And I was like, that is actual well, noncy behaviour. Where's this? It's like in London, I was like, what kind of noncy behaviour? Joe Bargava. <laughs> no, I don't say Joe <laughs> Why did you say Joe? His name's Doc. I, do, I like the name Joe. I don't know why. It's from the, what's it called? The Netflix show, You. I don't know why I say Joe. Oh. That guy's a sign. You need to watch that show. That's a good it. show, but what? Oh. Have you watched that show? You, Have you, you seen you, it, Jude? If you haven't watched it, that will. Oh, I need to watch that. I need to watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's about it's about stalkers. It's like hands with people. Yeah. stalking you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said that really, you said like... really like like really like scarily. Do you, do you know something? To... <laughs> um, <laughs> Top. That's the perks of being a YouTuber. You get schools. I do think though, back to the school thing. Ultimately, it doesn't actually matter what school you're in. But I just thought a new environment is good for Sid because he was literally the only reason he wanted to say is his friends. I was like, if they're truly your friends, they'll still hang around with you. Like, but it feels like just as I got settled into Hamsworth, it was it was just got taken away from oh. me. It's so great. No, I okay. just think a new change is sometimes good because it's not actually. Yeah, what happens happens. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, Plus, I didn't want you to get too comfortable in that shitty school. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that school. I was like, get out. No, it's just one of those. Like, whether it's like grammar school or not, it's like if you spend a lot of time there. Of course, you like the people around you, but at the same time, you want to like get out. Yeah, of I'm there. not saying like I Stuff bet like you, I bet school was fine for you, Sid. But I just think, I just think like. So you, like, you, did you get got... tired of the school a bit, or were you just like, oh, it's we're gonna end it soon anyway, so it might as well just. Well, I mean, compared to other people, I really like the school. I didn't get tired yeah. of it. Like, no, near the end, quite a few people were like, you know, they're bored or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But... I liked to have a good relationship with the teachers there, etc. So, oh, I, I really. Re- re- <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, like, you said, have she to, said getting yeah. references. And if stuff. you didn't go to Hunter, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we wouldn't be here in this position right now. We wouldn't be doing Afghan answer. So, yeah. exactly. Oh yeah, I I plotted this entire thing. Yeah, she, yeah. Because <laughs> people just asked me, <laughs> "Oh, do you want to do a podcast?" And I was thinking of doing the same thing a week ago. Because uh, the thing is with me and Sid is because I don't. A week before. I didn't used to live live here, so. You know, I'd only come back during the yeah, holidays. You stuck with us for six no, months. No, no, no. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, it is very like I'd only see you periodically, yeah. and don't go back to Norwich. Norwich. Do you stuck. miss me ever? God. You don't even text me, little shit. No, whatever. I don't like texting people anyway. Yeah, you're not a texter. But then when I do text you, do you reply immediately? As well. Only like, text when it's business opportunities like this one. No, it's always, <laughs> always like mom's called, and then I like have a conversation through that phone call with you in the background. Yeah. What, wait, what? Seriously? Like, mum will, I'll call mum or mum will call me. And then oh, yeah, you'll, just... you'll walk in like, hey, like. Yeah, I just say, yeah. I, can't so, I just remember every time all I kept saying is like, make sure you're a vi- make sure you treat. I was telling you to keep, take your mock serious as well. Mm-hmm. I, I put it in, I, I planted yeah. the seed. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. I take, 
I, 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 like, thought, I thought you were going to give me a high five. You didn't see the screen. I thought it was going to give me a high five, but you put a hand on my shoulder. Now I've contracted. Yeah. So, yeah. Ew! Contract! You sound like a pregnant woman. I've got contractions. <laughs> I, yeah, I, just, I contracted. That's the one. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it, I think. Unless we got... We could talk about this for hours, to be honest. I think we've had a very good chat. Considering the technical yeah. difficulties at the start. No, you just forgot to record because you're dumb, but... <laughs> it's lovely. It's also... Lovely to meet you, Gina Zaba. I was gonna say it's lovely to hear like sit like you've got a pr- the accent is very like Gene's accent. It's very reminds me of school as well, like people like the way he talks. It, it reminds me of people at school. <laughs> at school, I people don't from sound school. like a robot, so I'm doing something good. Yeah, like you just sound like <laughs> yeah. very much like. No, obviously, it's understandable if it's like first time on the podcast, stuff. dude. It's your first time, first appearance. You sound so much Next will be the true Jordy pod- podcast, mate. Next exactly, day. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, someone told Sid that he sounded posh at his school. Whoever said According that. According to old men, yeah, probably, yeah. Well, <laughs> Pushed the men on, on da streets. On the then... street. I know what, I know what connected people. This... I, I, my sphere of influence ranges everywhere, you know. You don't know anyone, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I sound really cocky. I'm like, I know everyone. Like, you know what I mean? I know, I know the Americans. I know the. You literally don't know one. But okay. <laughs> oh my god. You just give me the death stare. Really, yeah. put, you put me under pressure to say something. Cool, <laughs> <but it doesn't laughs> work. That's the one. Yeah. So people are asking me to be in the podcast now. Certain other YouTubers, AP Rex. No one's you know. asking you. Like uh, three of your friends are like, that would be he's funny. Very famous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's Jamie. a lot of YouTubers from our school trying to be. So maybe we should form the own side, man. What is everyone at your school doing? Not everyone, too? Oh, but okay. a couple of people. It oh, could okay. be the, like the Asian version of the Simon. You know? Oh, you know what you've just reminded me of, actually? Do you, Sid said this when he first came to Hansworth. Oh, here we go. He, I was like, how's it going, like, a week or two in? Because I was actually worried that if if you did have a bad experience at Hansworth Grandma, that I, it would essentially be my fault because I told you to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, and you no, liked the, it. The but... first person I recognised like, as, like, you know when you, like, class people into, like, oh, oh the smart one. No, yeah, Max. Yeah, was. you knew him. So uh, only, but three days in, I didn't know anyone. I didn't know Max was there. So I'm like, oh, you know how you chat. You know, like you know, mean, you know, mean girls where you just like, oh, the goths, the stuff. You know, that like, you, exist. you try and do that in your head. I don't know why. You know yeah. what I mean? But so I'm like, <laughs> so I, have, I see Jude answering all the questions in English, like with yeah. the full Doctor T class, and I'm like, that's the smart one, the prick. <laughs> did you actually pick that? Yeah, but then as the days went in, and we did, the, you remember we did that assembly about like what was it called? You know, Mr. Conway does that assembly at the start of year twelve about like to the parents and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. asking questions. But instead of the parents asking questions, you're asking the questions. You vote for the parents. Jude cares. And I'm like, okay, I rate that guy. He's got balls. I was a bit of a tryout then, but you know. Oh, that's still, a good I... attitude to have. Like, <laughs> you still, you still are trying. What were you doing? No, I'm joking. Said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, oh, what was I gonna say? It's probably for the best you don't say it. To be honest. No, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, I remember now. No, okay, this is what also is. It's just a bit where you no, just, no. it's just the bit of the podcast where you just say any embarrassing story. As a story sibling, about as an older sibling, it's my duty to. But yeah, uh, yeah. so here, what, what was it you said exactly? Oh, there's so many embarrassing stories to choose from. No. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's no, amazing. when you went to Hunter, if you said. I went from be- going to a school where everyone was white and I was the only one who liked, I was the only Asian who liked Doctor Who to a, to a school where everyone's Asian. Everyone likes Doctor Who. Everyone likes Doctor Who. So I was like, wow. And you were so, you were so confused. I'm not special anymore. <laughs> you, know you found your people. <laughs> no, but, oh yeah, Gina, I'm going to ask you about that. Well, I haven't asked you about the Timeless Children finale, haven't I? Have you oh. seen it? I've what? seen it. I've seen all what episodes think from two seasons. Um, what do you I make think of it? I think the whole twist that she's like the timeless child is quite interesting. I think all the old people oh, sorry. don't like it. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. guys. That's a spoiler. <laughs> no, that's my job. That's my priority. So. For the whole yeah. season. But um, I think it probably doesn't make up for the fact that these have been two of the worst ever seasons of Doctor Who. And they re- yeah, they I agree. They the really could have done no, so I much. I feel like I'm the minority here. But, and yeah. either like no, because you're just. I think you're just such a hardcore fan that you're just. No, you're but making... there's lots of hardcore fans who are like. I'm still I'm watching against... it. I'm against it. No, because the timeless child stuff. I actually thought that was quite in- interesting because they it was basically. Right. The... Because oh, yeah. it's yeah. the assumption that the doctor basically not even the assumption, the literally the accusation that, like. She, they're there the they're they're basically they the gave birth one. to Gallifrey in some weird way 
and the fact that yeah. this this yeah. doctor is now a woman, they could have made such a thing with it. Oh, they could she's have saying, gone oh, she's so the deep. female. Like no, the female is just kind of like bringing that. Like they could have even used. What do you mean? Violent. What do you mean? Like symbolism? Like she's it's the woman a who gives thing. bars. Do you think? Not that I'm trying to make it even it could like be a symbolism. about. It could a thing. be Christian or he loves that. But it, like, do you know what I mean? Because there's okay. Yeah. It, it, it explains a lot about the fact that they've re- not even that. Like they've regenerated into a woman. That the time. I think Jodie. I think the writing's like, improved though. I think Jodie Whittaker. Jodie Whittaker's had really good episodes, especially the haunting of Villa Diadati one. Yeah, and had, then. Uh, had, the good speech, she had a good speech there. Yeah, yeah you do one is a masterclass. I actually yeah. think also just with the sidekicks, they could have done a lot more or gave them more depth. The masters are revelation. Having the three of them and mm-hmm. the, like pretty much Graham and Yaz had no connection Cause, until Because Al keeps episode. on saying that I look like the master. I don't. It's I, just that we're Asian. That's just racist. No, you do. That's just racist. <laughs> that is racist. See, we don't look like each other whatsoever. You don't look like each other, but you give I off... want to look like it. I you want do... to cosplay sorry, as him. The, yeah, okay. the mannerisms of that guy is literally you. See, so you're calling me a psychopath. You don't look like him like him <laughs> now just, because he's a grown man. The house. No, but I feel like when you're older, like, you would have that energy. <laughs> His mum said you look like him. I have the energy when I'm older. What? That no, energy to kill me. No, the energy of that facial, like that kind of hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I mean. Goof, like. No, yeah. I can't wait to see Captain Jack back. You don't look like him because you're 18 and he's, what, 30 somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'll be work. watching Torchwood. You look similar. You no, know, Torchwood. I've been watching that dude. Really I've been watching that dude. crying over that. I, I, w- I watched that. I think All I, of it. I remember watching the last one, the whole, like, when you. Spoilers if you haven't seen the whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. I've only watched the first season, mate. Oh, all right, I won't spoil it, but I, I watched. No, have you seen the episode you, are you where you watched they're... all of it? Um, <laughs> I think I might have, but I remember like specifically watching like the last few seasons, but yeah. not maybe all of the first few seasons. It's really good, man. I'm no, what was it. that episode that me and you were crying over? Have you seen that one where the basically the first seasons, first season, the, okay. the, the the gun scene? You know when she's teaching, he's teaching Gwen how to shoot a gun. That was the most... And they're both, like, really close together for and no reason. And it was reason. so weird the way they were acting you know what I'm on about you, though? Is that part? <laughs> that, that's... Yeah, it's gone completely over my head. Oh. No, do, you know, do you know it's that thing when... Because I was not watching it with me, so she walks... It's one of the things, you know, when a family member walks into, like, a really weird yeah. scene. Like, the, out of, out out of all the scenes, it's just that scene of, like... I'm sorry, J- I Jack died. grinding upon... <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. It's so weird. I'm like, I know J- Jack Barron's very flamboyant, like... Actor no, but the stuff, way but... that he's acting was Joe so... Joe Exotic. <laughs> no, no, he was like... I don't know what he did. He put his arm down and then kind of weirdly... It's like... It's, it's that weird it 2008 up. BBC Three thing, isn't it? So. It was really funny. Like, I, I, I cracked up. Although I do like um, Captain Jack. I mean, do you remember one of my favorite episodes is the Doctor Donner episode, it's good to see where that, they all yeah. kind of swarm back. Yeah, that's the... like the End Game before End Game. And happened. Sarah Jane, iconic, legendary. <laughs> I know my rest in peace. Queen. Oh, we were on holiday when we heard she died. We were furious. <sighs> I know, yeah. As kids. What, she... We were in my holiday. <laughs> 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 <That's funny. laughs> yeah. So yeah, oh, I think Jack will be back for the Christmas special or slash New Year special. So yeah, we'll hope to see that one. What do you think they're gonna do? Revolution of the Daleks, it's called. So it's, it's gonna be a. Well, I will, I will, just throw that out there. Probably won't be amazing. <laughs> they could have. Well, obviously, you either, so you either like this era or you're not into it. You know. But the thing is, how can you amazing. make the Doctor a different gender when the whole time, every time they ge- regenerated, was a man, no, it's just and like then a... make out like that was nothing. Like, oh, we mean? can change the it's gender. Not nothing. It is kind of something. That's because yeah, people don't big... like the time's child because it diminishes the first. Doctor. I feel like they only. Or do you think it's Jody all right? Just because she's do, a do woman, and they right? should have done more of it. Like, if you're gonna pick a woman, like, yeah. give a kind of storyline and a kind of message as to why the, this significance is happening. Yeah, a whole. They have to carry on the impact. They can't forget. The if they forget about it, whether you like the timeless child or not. Whether you like it or not, they have to go. They have to carry it on because if there's no impact, then there's no. What was the point of doing it? But do you know what I mean? It was that kind of mystery. The now. division. I kind of liked that storyline that the the, the Gallifreyans. Hopefully, all... the division comes back. Hopefully, that's a cool. Little I actually thing. thought they were going to say the master was the one. Yeah, people were saying that's better. I mean, they... That was it, but huh? you know, people saying yeah, people saying oh, the master should have been it. I think because that would have made sense a bit more. Actually, no, it would have made sense either way with destroying the whole of Gallifrey. But I thought, yeah, how, anger... did he, how did he destroy Gallifrey? I, I, obviously, it's, we not, don't a, know. it's well, not a huge thing. It's not a huge problem. But it's like a bit of a nitpick. It's like you should have like found out how he did it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. he nuked the place in time war. I know, and he kept shrinking people. I was Hopefully, like, they bring back the cyber master. They should call it the cyber. I kind of like that as well with the cyber. But then what happens to them? You've blown up a whole place. But if they can regenerate, then. 
no, no, you hear the subtitles at the end. It's like, oh, go back into the ship. And you hear that, you hear that. They purposely put that in there. It's so <laughs> weird. I know, yeah. They did oh. that just to just think, yeah, to bring them back. I think what they should do, bring bring them back in a two-parter in the middle of no, series but if they 13, can regenerate, and then the end of series They're never really going to die. Basically, what I want to see is... Awesome? I want to see... No, they can die if you shoot them while regenerating. Oh, yeah, the Doctor can die. Or you limit it to 12 regenerations. And that's what's confusing, is it's still limited. No, because the it's Doctor's the only one who can regenerate more, but I think everyone else But why did 12. they give them extra regenerations? Remember Time the Doctor? No, do you not why? remember? Remember the Time was gave them extra regenerations? People are moaning about this, because uh, he's like, he, back in the well, day. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, they're going to have to, because un- unless they... Like, the Shabogans, <laughs> that's what they call it. No, but like, because <laughs> I think they're trying to make um, Doctor Who, like... A, a James Bond thing where it's just endless, and it kind of makes sense. It already sense. was though. It already was. No, but you got yeah. But they were saying twelve regenerations. Yeah, but they, so... there's oh yeah, because after every twelve times it's gonna be like oh time lords, give me more. So give me more. many <laughs> after decade after decade of Doctor Who episodes. Of course they're gonna they're not gonna stop at the twelfth one and be like all right let's be done with it like. Yeah, you want yeah. I wouldn't want that either. I kind no, of no, but like... people don't like how there's infinite regenerations before William Hartnell. They like they, don't, they like how the William Hartnell was the first one. Yeah. But it makes sense because he's had grandchildren, he's had children, he's had a long life. So it makes sense that maybe he would have died before, you know what I mean? No, I think so. It adds more mystery to the Doctor in the sense that... I th- nah, I don't mind that they... Yeah, made. you don't mind that change, actually, to be fair. Yeah, because also, like, he hasn't said, I'm the first Doctor in the first Doctor season. Yeah, you He's are... just established himself as well, the Doctor. But then after, after it was, like, pretty, like, oh, every time the Doctor whips out, like, a photography thing with all his faces is always the first. And he's and never, like, like, mentioned in the first season... Oh, uh, I've had yeah, a, right. in my past life. Like, none of that's happened. Yeah, but what can you do? It's one of those. It's not, that's not the problem, is it? It's some people just don't like the writing, and that's a good problem to have. That's not a good problem yeah, whoever's to not have. At, at the moment, I'm not going to lie. I don't Chris really... Chibnall. Disgusting. Chris Chibnall. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> but I think he's getting better and better as each season goes by. Hopefully. That's my optimism. Who's your favourite monsters? Oh, or aliens, sorry. Oh, it's, a lot, it's a good question. It's a lot. Good. Cybermen are really good. If you, I, I think really Chris Chibnall... Like yeah, Chris Chibnall handled the Cybermen right I did until like the until Cybermen, the master shrinked yeah. him. But uh, until then, but apart from that, it's alright. Any others? The silence. They should bring back the silence. You know, even though that was so intertwined with Matt Smith and the uh, the arc went nowhere. The arc just didn't make any sense. The alien then. looked scary, but the the plot was kind of crap in my eyes. The, so, the no the 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 American like opener. The I series thought that was six so... sensational episode. I thought it was boring a little bit. The impossible that. astronaut. Did... And, uh, that that stuff. I thought that was good. You no, know? the one with the lo- they've got crosses on their face or something because that was good. so many times they saw the silence or something. Yeah, it was like that. The tally chart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. So no, that was one. That was one of the things. Was I like, don't know. I got bored with that. It's one. Of the, you, you know, mean? ever since he married River Song, I was like, that's so nonsy. <laughs> I was like, why you, you say everything's nonsy? Oh though. my god! He literally saw her five sorry. minutes ago as a baby, and then was like, let's marry. That's like, not nonsy though, because they're both adults by then, so it's fine. Yeah, but he's literally. Oh yeah, you could say that about anyone he kisses because he's like thousand years old against bloody. Yeah, but he met them as an yeah, adult, yeah. so it's not that bad. But you actually met. We're you actually, like, you actually know army. the parents. The parents conceived it in your TARDIS in your house. Yeah. <laughs> you saw them. <laughs> that was a bit weird. That's the one. Although I found it funny. The only water in the forest is the river. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I have no idea. You know. People what was, that? was that the audio? I, I think uh, that was a car. Was I didn't just let one off. Uh, <laughs> I thought we would go with this entire episode and had technical difficulties. You sorry, say no, d- nah, it's fine. I, think I was just like, what is this horn that's going off? It's like an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and... Nah, I think that's it. I think that's the sign. That's the Is bell. That the, the bell. That's the bell. Sorry, so shut up. <laughs> this was fun. We should do it again. No, we should. No, we should all have you again, dude. I think. Yeah, you know, I kind of want to hear more, dude. Thank you. you yeah. Want... Oh. Yeah. You're such a not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say every time. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you lasted this entire video, holy crap. Yeah. How have you done that? How have you <laughs> found it, Jude? How was, how I was... found it very good, very fun. I oh. encourage, you know, get big podcast stars on. You know, I think you can go right <laughs> to the... <laughs> Yeah. I guess my brother had a once took a picture with Jeremy Corbyn in the pub, so maybe... You Jeremy keep Corbyn. milking yeah, maybe that into everything. <laughs> I, so I, really... I met Stephen Fry. That was cool. Yeah, really big role in Doctor Who. He did. Um, yeah. So. No, he didn't. Got shot. Got shot. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. I think mean, so. Crap, I, I totally mean, so... forgot. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. I think yeah. Who knows? We'll we'll build it out in it. I don't know what this 
podcast is supposed to be about. It's, on, it's like Tiger true, King. It's like true Geordie podcast, like <laughs> anything you really want to talk about. Really, it will it's literally a conversation. I kind of yeah. like that way. It's the only way. And yeah, oh, I'm I'm thinking, well, how should we end this? Should we end this and then I say bye after hey, we stop recording? <laughs> <laughs> you will end as we started hey Jude yeah that's good <laughs> that is honestly a bop though song wise a bop it's a bop what's a bop it means a tune is that, what are you laughing? Is that, is that no- Norwegian slang in Norwich? Norwegian slang <laughs> am I from Norway Norwich no, no, Norwich why are you saying it like Norwich is that how you say it Norwegian I, I just say Noz that's, <laughs> that's an Afghan word no it is an Afghan the word, Afghan I, I say Noz yeah, yeah that's a Noz yeah. <laughs> Featuring Jews. Hang on, I don't know what they Norwich. call the people of Norwich. I don't know. Norwichians. Rummies. Oh, wow. Good night, man. Good night. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm thinking, should we say goodbye as we end the stop recording, or should we should we stop recording, then say bye? That's the that's the real Oh, question. we can say bye twice, because obviously say bye to Jude. And he is a, <laughs> we go just like, bye, and they're like, fuck off, Jude. Bye. <laughs> He's exposing herself. Okay, fine. We'll stop recording then. We'll okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Download bye. the podcast on Google, yeah. Spotify, and was it? Yes, yeah, sweet. That was yeah. Google, but... Spotify, and was it? Google, Spotify. Jesus. No, you thought <laughs> you, oh, you, I thought you, you thought you'd left. I was like, oh no. Like... It's Google, Spotify, and um, was it Deezer? Deezer. What the fuck is Deezer? You ever, yeah, you ever heard of Deezer? No. Oh. Dude, you've heard of Deezer. I've heard of these. I don't yeah, use the, the adverts. The adverts. <laughs> these. My freezer. What? What? I got. I don't know. What. Leave. <laughs> Take care. Sorry, reference. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. All See right. you guys next time. Bye. Next week. Same time. <laughs> same time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end that. <laughs> Let me stop recording.